Okay, so six through nine are just um, these equations. Uh, logs will work. However, these explicitly tell you that the um, base should be the same. I believe. Does, does it? Does it explicitly say it? No, it just says so. So really, you could use logs to do this, but I'm going to solve these uh, via similar base. All right. So remember, what we need is we need this three and that one to be the similar base because this exponent needs to equal something over here. And since one and three are dissimilar bases, I need to change one of them. Now, one is just one of those odd quirks. I can make one any, um, any base to, a, to the zero power. So for example, three to the zero power is one. So therefore, what I can do is I can just manipulate this so that these guys now have the same base and I can cross those out. And I can just focus on the exponents because what I did is I made all things equal. All right, I made the bases when they're the same. I can just focus on the exponents because these guys need to be equal to each other. So I go ahead and subtract two, subtract two. I get two x equals negative two. Divide by positive two and I get negative one. So that's my final answer. Make sure I take negative one and put it up in the top and zero. Yeah, so that'll work. So it works, right? So over here, this one is just ridiculous, all right? This one, I wouldn't even bother putting on the side. This is like kind of advanced. Um, if you remember that we have kind of these stations, like this is, this is really the base. This one over 32 is kind of a distraction. He needs to be gotten rid of, right? And I need to multiply that side by 32. And I need to multiply it over here, okay? And that way, this cancels out, okay? Now what that leaves me with is uh, 1 over 4 to the 2b equals 2 to the 6th power times 2 to the 5th power. Now I do this because of a special reason. These are both powers of 2, all right? And so now I can clearly see that if this is 2 to the 6th times something that's 2 to the 5th, I really have 2 to the 11th power. Now this is going to be important because 1 to the 4th can be expressed in terms of a base 2. It's just that the exponent has to be negative. Because if you have a 1 over something, that is a negative exponent. Okay? I could have put, f no I'm sorry, 2 to the negative 2. I could have put 4 to the negative 1 and gotten rid of the uh, um, fraction. Or I could put, put 2 to the negative 2. Now the reason why I chose 2 to the negative 2 is because this side is expressed as 2 to the 11th. So with that, I'm raising it to the 2b. And I know that negative, negative 2 times negative, uh, 2b is negative 4b equals 2 to the 11th. I have the same, same base. So that means negative 4b has to equal 11, divide both sides by negative 4, and I get negative 11 over 4, which for number 7 is negative 11 over 4, that is A. Okay, all right, so now moving along, okay, now this is a little bit easier. This is probably something that you would see on the test. Um, 4 to the negative 3x minus 2, uh, 64 is actually a power of 4. It's 4 to the third power. So we can leave this guy as he is and change 64 to uh, 4 to the third. It's 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So now that, they, now that I can distribute, okay, now watch what happens. 3 gets multiplied to here. 3 gets multiplied to there. Okay, and that's different now because this 3 gets distributed to both of them, and I get a negative 3x minus 2 equals negative 3x minus 9. And notice how you have negative 3x on both sides here. If I were to add a positive to both sides, they're going to cancel out. What I'm left with is a negative 2 equals negative 9, and that's false. That's not true. So therefore, uh, there is no solution to this guy. Okay, and I believe that's B. Now number 9. We're going to do this the same way. We see powers of 8 here. Um, 
because 8 squared is 64. Okay, now notice now they're all powers of 8. But let's see what happens here. 2 times negative n would give us negative 2n. All right, when I add those together, let me just double check. Okay, there's another one. Because what happens is this get, becomes 8 to the 2n plus negative 2n equals 8 to the first power. So we might as well just put those there. All right, same base. So now you'll notice that 8, well, 2n plus negative 2n is actually 0. Okay, now is that true? Does 0 equal 1? No. So therefore, there is also no solution here. Okay, so look out for no solutions and extraneous solutions as you uh, pass by. So that's the video for these guys.